Hey, what's going on YouTube? Scuba Diver Picker here. Uh, this is going to be a trade video. Not a trade video where I've got things for trade, but I actually did a trade with a buddy of mine, Jeremy from the Vintage Gamers. I actually just left this place a couple hours ago, figured I'd make a video. Um, basically, I traded him two really good boxes. Demon's Crest on the SNES and... Um, Ninja Gaiden 3 box for the NES. Two boxes he really, really wanted. Um, I'm kind of at the point where I want a few boxes, but I don't have many games as well because I had to start over collecting. So I was just looking for a bunch of good, fun games. Didn't really care what the value was too much. Um, so we worked out a trade for those two boxes. I threw in two other ones that I didn't really care about. Um, I mean, I like, I like them, but I threw them in. And basically, this is what I got. A game, one of the very few LJN games that's good. Alien 3. Final Fight. One of the higher cost games or higher valued games in this lot. Battletoads Double Dragon. A $20 game. Like I said, I got mostly cheap games, but... Their games I really wanted to have in the collection. Uh, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Robocop vs. Terminator. Speed Racer. I actually played this game a little bit uh, at his place. It's alright. A game I'm really happy to get. So much fun and that's super R type. Just gotta get three now. Super Empire Strikes Back. Last but not least, probably the most expensive game in the lot, obviously, and it's Super Double Dragon. So, yeah, basically got those games for those boxes. I know those boxes are very valuable, um, but I got a great deal on them. You know, he's my boy. He knows I need games. He has a collection that blows anything, any dream that I could ever cock up in my head about what I would want he's his collection is unreal so he's into more like other harder to find boxes as well so me I want boxes like this this is another box he threw in for me um oh yeah another game was Ken Griffey Jr. winning run complete he threw in as well as this game is an uncommon game not worth much but it's a game this is kind of boxes that I like to collect obscure ones and that's Mohawk and Headphone Jack Used to have this complete, uh, minus the phone card. Try to get the game again. It's like a $5 game. Maybe 10 at the most. So, yeah, got about 12 or 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 games in a box, so why not, right? Uh, anyways, last, last but not least, I guess I wanted to show you guys this. This is what I have on eBay right now. Uh, I'm looking to trade it. I'm looking for, mainly what I'm looking for is I'm trying to make a deal or raise enough money to get me a Age Tech, the green with uh, white with green buttons, Sega Dreamcast arcade stick. I want one like near mint condition. Uh, just I'm trying to build this hookup to where I have, I want to get two of those arcade sticks. And I want to get some really good games on Dreamcast so I can have my buds over, you know, we, and we can we can play like Marvel vs. Capcom and have more of an arcade feel to it. Uh, being an 80s kid, you know, grew up on arcade, you know, that was that was one of the biggest things. Uh, just as big as Nintendo. And Classic Game Freak can attest to that, you know. Arcades were huge back in the 80s. Nothing like they are now. Before it was just like amazing. Um, now they just rip you off. Back then it was like you pay a quarter. You could take $10 and be in an arcade all day long. You really could. Now with $10, you play maybe four games. So it's a shame, but it's the way it is. Uh, anyways, I have these two games on eBay. A really nice condition, 100% complete Battletoads Double... Uh, not Battletoads Double Dragon, but Battletoads. Um, it's really nice shape. It's got the poster. I paid $10 separately for the poster. It's got the poster, the manual. I mean, it's got it all. If you want to see a little bit more detailed, um, go on my Facebook, www.facebook.com slash scuba diver picker. Um, I'll leave the link below. 
I've got some details of some of the items that I have up for sale. Um, it's mainly just this and this. Um, Mega Man 3, now the box has a good amount of wear, but it's still cool. Uh, Mega Man 3, it's not complete, doesn't have the manual. It's mainly just the box, the game, and there's an insert. Um, it's uh, the Mega Man 3, I don't know, 1994 Funko Incorporated. Got an insert, I don't know. But, and the game's in nice shape, it's got a sticker, but it'll come off. So, anyways, I got those two. I got those two, if you're interested. Um, there's one guy on here that has two of the sticks. Maybe I can work out a trade with him. Uh, the sticks usually go for about 45 to 50 bucks. Maybe 55, 60 on the higher end. Um, a lot of the cheaper ones are Japanese versions. So hey, dude, if you're watching this video, the guy, you know, I was talking to earlier about the stick. See if it's a Japanese model or the USA model. USA model is usually around like 50, 60, you know, around that, um, and then the Japanese model, I think, is around like 40, 45. Both don't work. Uh, but that Battle Toads, man, it's really nice shape, 100% complete. I mean, I've seen those sell, and with without the poster for close to 70. I'm not looking for that. Just looking to maybe get enough money to get a stick, arcade stick, or trade. You know, other things I would consider SNES games and Dreamcast games, um, certain ones. But anyways. That was my trade. Couple things I threw up there. You can check my Facebook out if you want to see some more details. Everything I always put on Facebook before I put on YouTube, um, usually. Anyways, guys, um, I want to say this. I got this game the other day called Einhander or Ian Hander. I'm not know if I'm saying it right, but it's a shooter on the PS1. E I N H A N D R is amazing. If you like shooters and you've never played this, go watch the gameplay on YouTube. Check it out. It's really cool. Hard, but cool. Anyways, guys, peace out and talk to you guys soon. Cheers.